All right, good morning, you guys. Um, it's January 27th. Uh, it's about 4.15 in the morning. I'm going to get out into the tree um, a little early today. Um, every time I've got in the woods, I've pushed deer. Uh, they seem to be funneling down here a little earlier. It's like uh, before bedding. And then the deer straggling into bedding are coming through this area and it's like uh, they got it matted down like a cattle trail but every time I'm in there my winds blowing into the bottom and either they circle downwind to me or they just go deeper into the bottom and, and, and slip in and out of bedding and, and I only get a glimpse of them so um, I've set up some more cameras I've kind of got the timing of when the deer come through so um, I want to be set up well before um, I normally would uh, just so I can have the woods undisturbed right at that uh, key time around you know the seven o'clock mark so um, making an effort to make a change um, January 27th about 36 degrees the high is going to be about 42 today the low about 30 so um, I don't know hopefully it stays right where it's at and we get some some movement there's nothing that's gonna make movement increase or decrease so um, it's kind of kind of consistent on that end um, look forward to knocking one down man I really hope we get a late season buck a few of them have been dropping their antlers here lately on camera um, the two main deer I'm after neither one of them have dropped their antlers as of the 24th at least uh, in the afternoon so that's a good sign and um, Stay tuned, hope to knock one down. I probably won't do an interview in the tree um, until probably around 8. I plan on uh, still that first, you know, good about hour and 15 minutes of daylight. So, um, you know, that's it. Stay tuned, guys, and um, I'm going to knock one down today.
part, you guys. I ended up um, shooting a doe. Doe crept in right here behind me. Um, makes a total of five deer this morning, but I wasn't going to pass it up on this one. It made it tough self-filming. Uh, she got around the tree, so hopefully I got that on video. But um, sun's up now, and I see her um, laying on the hill. She went about 150 yards. Um, the other deer that was with her is still there, so let me see if I can zoom in and show you guys a better look. It's really hard to see, but there she is up on the ridge. This auto zoom is killing me. Alright, you guys, I'll, I'll check in with you later. Alright, you guys just got in from uh, a uh, January 27th hunt. Um, I was able to harvest that doe I shot earlier this morning. Um, she, uh, like I said, bedded down, got back up, and I was able to track her. She only went 80 yards from where she bedded down, so um, that was good. It was a pretty quick retrieve, actually. Uh, gave her about three hours, though. Did the right thing. Um, I've got my muddy sticks packed up. Got my... Tether Manus, it's a saddle hunted today, and um, let's see, so, uh, she's a nice size doe too, so, whacked one down, and um, that's what we needed to do, man, knock one off the property, and um, it's that time of year where, you know, you, you've got to, you've got to harvest some of these deer, um, you know, get the get the deer herd managed, and um, you know, make sure you're prepared for the next year. So it's been a good year. Um, I'd like to say I'm gonna get out again, but it's the 27th season ends on Saturday the 30th, and um, it's been a crazy year, but a good year. And it's 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 hunting, you know, you learn. So I'm grateful I've been able to get out there, and um, that's gonna end it for tonight's video. Um, also, I did spot a nice buck uh, with my buddy down on his farm this afternoon, so uh, we decided to let him pass. Um, once again, getting ready for next season already, so um, stay tuned, and got some more footage coming up.